Hello and welcome to the Sketching Greyhound and a new episode of The Buffy Club. What is The Buffy Club? I'll tell you in a minute. I want to thank you for choosing this video. I hope you like it and that you enjoy today's portrait of Dala. Let's start. We are drawing Dala today and that decision was not taken by me, but by the whole Buffy club. In the club we are watching two episodes per week of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and based on that we nominate and then vote for the one person or character or monster that we consider to be outstanding. And that then is the one that I'm drawing on the Friday livestream. If that sounds like fun to you, come on over, you're more than welcome to join. For that, just hop on our Discord, you can find the link to that in any time-lapse video down in the description, just like here. So go, click on it, it's a link tree, find the Discord and visit us. The episodes this time Schoolheart and Inca Mummy Girl. Schoolheart is a very story relevant episode as it is the first time that Spike and Drusilla appear. So they get introduced and we get an idea of what's to come in season 2. We have the quite enigmatic and mysterious and a bit more than a little crazy Drusilla and the very dangerous Spike. How dangerous we are told by Angel, who we of course believe, but we also see it hands on in the rest of the episode. Spike tries to murder Buffy, of course he fails, but we get the idea that he is a formidable enemy, which opens up the big bad arc of the second season. Inca Mummy Girl is a Monster of the Week episode, but it is still very relevant for the character development, at least of Xander, and therefore it is even quoted in a much later season. And it's also with a twist. It is not just we are facing a monster that has to be defeated by Buffy, we feel for this monster. The monster is more or less a teenage girl, mommy, that is not in this situation by her own choice. She was wronged, but now to live she is wronging other people and of course Buffy can't have that. But we still feel with her. It's not like a giant insect or something that we don't care for. This one hits the fields. Therefore she was also nominated, but Drusilla won. So that's the one we are drawing. As I was already telling you, Drusilla is a very interesting character. She's quite crazy, that makes her dangerous, that makes her exceptionally creepy. Perhaps creepier than any other bad guy we have seen in Buffy to that day. We don't really know what she can do, she's more in the background, but that makes it even more creepy and more foreboding. The reference picture I selected is actually exactly from this episode and as you can see Spike is also there. For season 2 you can't have one without the other, so I selected the picture with both of them. Somebody very vocally voted for both as the reference for this episode, but it's a timing thing for me. I do not really manage to draw a full picture two people for one episode, so I selected one that I will complete once Spike is selected and I just trust that at some point during season 2 we will select and vote for Spike. So if you enjoy this video make sure to hit that bell or watch a couple of other videos of mine because otherwise because of the changes that YouTube has made you might probably never see me again. A simple subscription does not mean anymore that YouTube will propose to you videos of a content creator. But enough about that, let's talk the picture. When I draw on the grey paper, which I love, I normally am very rough. So you see a lot of lines, you see a lot of noise, for lack of a better word to describe it. I'm not that precise normally on the grey, I'm not that clear. But for this one I really wanted to be. I wanted to reach a level of detail that I normally only reach on the white paper, because I really wanted to nail that look on her face. And I took my time, I was very careful, and I think it has quite a level of detail. Actually not in the skin I selected, I chose not to draw too much shading detail on the skin, I don't think it needs it. 
She is a vampire after all, so it can look a little bland on that side. I think the facial expression really comes across better this way. So I really like that part. I don't as so often enjoy neither drawing nor looking at the hair I'm producing here. It is not perfect, it's far from it, it is not even satisfactory, at least for me. So I should train that, I should work on that. Seems like a big thing for me that I still have to improve on. But that's it for this picture. As I said, ring that bell or you might miss the spike one. I think this could turn out to be a quite interesting one with both of them. So don't miss out on that and I hope you enjoyed this process. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And this is our Dala. I'm really looking forward to how it looks with the spike. Let's see when Spike will be voted for as a portrait. I really don't like the hair, I really like the face, so it really becomes an issue for me that my hair does not reach a level that I feel comfortable with, so I might have to do some training there. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and you will be back for another episode of the Buffy Club, all the regular videos, I hope I'll see you the next time, and goodbye.